Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days, welcome to this week's Smackdown Live review. Uh, got a few shout outs to start with, so uh, Minecraft Pro 105, uh, CT Styles 017, uh, Mo Gamer or MO Gamer, um, Herder of Buffalo 16, big shout out mate, how you doing? Thanks a lot for the support. Um, and Mark Baller 7784 and of course, of course, Justin and Kieran, how could I forget? Um, all of you guys and everyone that uh, watches these reviews and videos, thank you, thank you very much, I really do appreciate the support. Um, but let's get to Smackdown Live, shall we? And uh, I thought this was a decent show. Um, it was pretty solid all throughout. There weren't really any kind of disastrous segments. Uh, Smackdown, definitely the better show this week. Um, and uh, yeah, I was, I, was, I was kind of entertained. Um, kicking off with Daniel Bryan uh, in the ring. And there was like a, a section with the women. This, this felt a little weak. Um, just because some of the acting felt a little bit off, Becky Lynch in particular just didn't seem to be able to convincingly portray like when she was outnumbered and she was like, whoa, whoa, you know, she was still trying to play like a comedy aspect. I wanted it to be a little bit more, oh yeah, I am in a situation here. Um, and that kind of seriousness didn't come across. Um, Alexa Bliss. Uh, call, was called Polly Pocket, uh, Daniel Bryan was called a Bella Trophy Husband, um, Total Bellas got a, a mention, uh, actually got mentioned quite a few times on Talking Smack as well, which uh, uh, it was the first time I watched Talking Smack and I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, you know, it was all right. It, it did what it needed to do. Um, it set up the uh, tag match for later in the show. It further promoted the uh, women's six-pack challenge. Daniel Bryan as well brought a bit of clarity as to how that will happen. So it's elimination match. So it's not just the first person that gets the pin or submission wins. It's going to be if you're eliminated, you know, if you get pinned or submitted, you're out. And then it goes down to five, down to four, down to three, down to two down to one winner. It should be really exciting. Can't wait for it. Next we have The Miz going up against Apollo Crews. This was a rematch from SummerSlam, I believe. And uh, Dolph Ziggler was at ringside. Um, and uh, yeah, basically Ziggler gets involved. Um, school crushing finale. Miz picks up the victory. Um, it, it, was, it was only there to promote the Miz Ziggler match uh, that's coming up at Batlash. I will get my Batlash uh, predictions up soon, um, but I, I'm not sure which way to go with this one because it kind of feels like Miz is doing an all right job and with Maurice by his side, you know, that, that promo he cut the other week, I, I'd keep it on him. But saying that, I think that Ziggler's, you know, doing a decent job and has done for a long time. He deserves some opportunities he deserves, you know, having lost against Dean Ambrose, you know, a victory. Um, or maybe he loses to Miz and then has to go back to the drawing board because that was hinted at. Um, I'd be in favour of that, I suppose. I suppose the, the best outcome, Miz wins, Ziggler reinvents himself and then goes on this great, you know, winning streak. Um, so we'll have to see. Uh, after that, we got uh, a Bray... Uh, promo which was just okay um, it's kind of it went on for a long time again it was a usual Bray promo um, I'm just I'm, I want Bray to just come out and get his victory and get on that winning streak um, because I just don't need to keep hearing him talk he's a great talker but I've heard him talk for years now and not not follow it up with you know results oh, he needs he needs wins he really needs wins uh, AJ throwing that producer's phone against the wall, I thought was uh, you know pretty funny. Um, uh, uh, I'm a big fan of bullying. Um, I'm not. Uh, Nikki Bella, Becky Lynch and Naomi. This I thought was interesting. Uh, Nikki Bella was part of Team Bella. Uh, Becky Lynch was part of PCB. And Naomi was part of Team Bad. So they had all three of uh, the Diva teams from last year represented on the one team. And then they were going up against Natalia, who wasn't in a team, 
Alexa Bliss, who wasn't in the team, and Carmella, who wasn't in the team. So uh, it was like 2015 versus 2016. Great kick from Nikki Bella off the second turnbuckle. She also delivered a guillotine neck breaker, which was really smart. Um, Carmella hit, got the code of silence on Nikki though. And uh, yeah, you know, they're kind of, they're teasing um, a Nikki win because she, she keeps being used in the storyline so prominently and she's taking the pin and you think that she might get that Last laugh, you know, it could come down to Carmella and Nikki Bella. Um, I suppose that's what I'm expecting. Personally, I would love Naomi to get it. I think Naomi's gimmick is fantastic. It's one of the things I look forward to um, of the show. Usos against American Alpha. You can see my um, reaction to this. I've put a reaction video up, but I've got the full match and the post-match beatdown. What a critical, important part of the show this was. So Alpha pick up the win with uh, Grand Amplitude and then out of nowhere the Uso super kick uh, to Chad Gable and then he's down and then they destroy his, um, I don't know if it's knee or his leg, but they go to work on that. He is out, he's out. Um, you know, so even though American Alpha won, they will not be at Backlash, um, which I just find amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm amazed that they haven't allowed Jordan to go and find a partner, you know, I mean like how is that fair? Uh, that's it. You're done oh. um, So what, what's been announced it was announced on talking smack It's going to be the hype bros going up against the Usos and the winners will face uh, Rhino and Heath Slater later on at Backlash um, So Usos fantastic so pleased they've turned heel and it was confirmed on talking smack because uh, I'm talking smack, they were saying that they've been trying to get respect for six years. Well, now they've stopped trying. Heel turn. Um, and it was done really well. Uh, I think they're going to be a great heel team. And yeah, I, I, I'd give them the bouts. I'd give them the bouts. Because I think that Heath and Rhino, I think, uh, can come close uh, to uh, winning them. And I think that they can uh, just miss out. You see, Rhino, I think, is doing political stuff. Um, I know he's got like a lot of um, uh, political career asp aspirations. So I don't know how long he's around for. Um, and I just think the the Usos turning heel makes them, you know, uh, a proper team to watch again because um, they really lost their way. I mean, largely down to injuries, but they lost their way. Um, so I think put the belts on them. Have Heath like run run it really close, like he's gonna get his contract, um, and he gets cheated out of it. And I think they can just keep teasing Heath getting a contract uh, for you know another month or so. Just keep it going. Why not? It's brilliant. It's this is the this is the best the Heath character has ever been. So why stop? Just just keep teasing it out. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Uh, next bit, oh, I forgot about this. The Fandango with, was it Betty? And that dance-off thing. And then Kane came out. Oh, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. So I take it back. I said at the start there was nothing that was disastrous. That was disastrous. Um, I hated it. Hype Bros against Slater and uh, Rhino. Well, Sl Slater and Rhino uh, get the victory uh, with a gore, but I loved Heath's family being ringside. thought it was absolutely hilarious. thought it was absolutely brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Um, so, uh, yeah, hopefully they'll make a bigger deal out of that at Backlash. Um, and then we got to the main event, which... Uh, oh, I should just mention that Hawkins, Kurt, Kurt Hawkins is next week. Don't care. Um, uh, Ambrose uh, gives AJ Styles a gift it turns out to be that bowling trophy um, and he says that he got it for participation um, and uh, he said this is the only trophy you'll get out of me Styles was saying I don't want you to hand me anything um, and Ambrose says that um, Styles is uh, the face that will come in second place which I just thought was such a great line in fact, I think he said there's nothing for the face that comes in second place. Um, it's, yeah, it's brilliant. Absolutely great. Um, and basically a, a cheap shot um, and uh, it finishes with Dean Ambrose on his knees. That kind of implies to me that Ambrose will get the victory um, because, again, the old rule is that if you stand tall on the go-home show, 
then chances are you won't win at the pay-per-view. So um, my money will be on Ambrose for that one. Um, and yeah, uh, talking smack, you know, we found out about uh, what they're going to do with the tag teams. We found out that, you know, Ziggler was kind of praising the Miz, saying, you know, he'd done a lot of films and been on the red carpet and he's, you know, been in commercials. And now finally he's saying, I want some respect. And Ziggler was saying, I can appreciate that, you know, I'm not out here to moan or anything like that. I just want to let you know that I'm going to take every opportunity that comes my way. It's a really passionate promo from Ziggler, uh, the kind of stuff that we've seen before. Um, I really want him to just shut up, <laughs> to tell the truth. I want him to shut up and just do it in the ring because he had a golden opportunity at SummerSlam and he didn't deliver, you know, the match of the night was Stars and Cena and there's no reason why Ambrose and Ziggler couldn't couldn't reach those levels but they they didn't um so yeah he need, he needs to deliver um i'm really looking forward to backlash i think it's going to be a really good fun show new champions will be crowned we'll have a new women's champion we'll have a new uh, smackdown tag champions they've slightly changed the belts as well the wording along the bottom i don't know if you noticed that um, but before it used to say heavyweight champion uh, under Dean's belt and now it says WWE world champion um, and uh, I know they've made a few changes to the women's ones well and um, yeah you know nothing nothing you know massive but <clears throat> worth mentioning uh, I think that was everything you know it was it was good I was entertained really enjoyed it um, and uh, it was definitely better than Raw but uh, join me uh, next time um, because I will be doing uh, backlash predictions I will be doing uh, backlash reactions review all that good stuff to come so if you haven't subscribed to the channel really would appreciate it if you would could if you like the video please give it a like because that also puts a little smile on my face um, and hopefully as I say you join me again next time thanks a lot guys bye for now